guys, what's going on? It's Greg Ilse here from Greg Ilse TV. I am going to run four benchmarks today to show you the speed of the Note 5, Galaxy Note 5. This is the AT&T variant. Uh, I'm going to run Antutu benchmark, A1 SD benchmark, which is going to test the speed of the internal storage, Geekbench 3, and Quadrant. Let's start off with Antutu. Alright guys, the benchmark is done. Got a score of 64,583. It's not the highest I've seen. My uh, NVIDIA Shield, which is I know not a phone, but got a higher benchmark of 69,000. I know if I'd probably ran this a couple of times, I'd probably get some different scores, but uh, it beats, it's the highest on here right now that I see. Um, the one plus two is not on here, but 64,000 is a respectable score. The next benchmark that we're going to run is A1 SD benchmark. It is a benchmark to test the speed of the internal storage. I ran this once already and I got a score of 325 megabytes uh, of read and 151 write. So let's see how it does the second time. So I ran it the second time, I actually got better scores. I think I did, anyway, I forget what the score was before. 334 megabytes read, 154 megabytes write. And the third benchmark we'll run today is Geekbench 3. See how it performs here now. All right, so I've got a single core score of 1195 and a multi-core score of 3883. I have seen some higher tests on other people's, um, but otherwise, not a bad score. And the last benchmark we're gonna run is Quadrant. So run up in Quadrant, run full benchmark, and here it goes. Do you want to proceed with the benchmark results? So this got a score, a quadrant score of 30,666. Um, doesn't see all these devices are really old on there, but that's the score it got, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If there's anything you'd like me to test or try, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys down the road.